Hi guys, so today's video is going to be my one week living here in the apartment video. That was like weird to say. Because I told you I would do it since before I moved out when I was living at my parents' house. I was super curious like how do people feel, what what do they do, like how do they survive, like all of that stuff. How do they mainly feel because it's crazy. And in case you didn't know, this is my first time living outside my parents' house. Kind of, It's kind of crazy and kind of scary and... By the time you see this, it'll be a full week. I think I mentioned this like a few videos back or like probably a, a lot of videos back now. But for me, the hardest part I think so far this first week was my anxiety. I, as I was driving here from my parents' house the last time, like when we had all my stuff and we're coming here, I got like this really, really weird anxiety feeling. It was like something I never felt before. It was like, I felt like my, I was like starting a new life or something. I don't know, it felt like I was never gonna see them again or it would never be the same, which it won't be the same. And it just was really scary because in case you guys didn't know, if you're like new or you're just coming across this video, me and my parents have a super, super close relationship, like super tight. We've been through a lot together and they are literally my world. Like I don't have really any friends. They pretty much, now that I'm older, double as like my friends and family. And so it was, it was just like a scary feeling knowing that I'm not gonna be there anymore and I'm not gonna see them that much. I still do see them. I try to see them at least once a week. But, I don't know, it was just scary, like they, I don't know, it was just like this really, really scary feeling that I felt, I have really bad anxiety, but it was like a different anxiety, it was so weird. But luckily that went away, and I don't know how it went away, I guess just being here made me realize that I don't really have anything to be scared of. Yeah, also something that I got, that I have to get used to that I'm Okay, can you hear that dog? Anyway, something else that I have to get used to is carrying things up. I live on the very top floor, and so everything I bring here, I have to carry up like two flights of stairs, which is crazy. Like, it sucks, especially when you have something like really heavy, because it's like, it literally feels like a workout. It's crazy, I don't even know. So I'm not used to that yet. And also taking the trash out. Our trash, oh no. Our dumpsters are like way at the front of the development, I guess you would say, like apartment complex thing. They're way at the front. So if we have to take a bag of trash, trash out, we have to take it, put it in the car because walking is seriously too far. I wish I could like give like a scale of how far it is, but it is way too far to walk. Let me just put it that way. Well, probably not for some people. Probably some people would hear how far it is and be like, bitch, I do that every day. What are you talking about? But it's weird the fact that it's not just right outside, if that makes sense. So, cause that's what I'm used to. So it's like any, and our trash bag is not big at all. So it's like, we have to take it out every two days, every day. Depends on how good we eat in, if you know what I mean. I have to get used to the noise. I mean, there's, I feel like, okay, this is also something that I have to get used to. I feel like I don't wanna talk that loud because I don't want other people to hear me and listen to my conversation. I feel like super self-conscious about that. That's why I don't think I could ever film on the deck because on the deck, I feel like people could hear me and it's like really awkward. There was construction in the building next door, but it sounds like it's outside. Like if you were to walk out my front door right there. It's crazy. So I'm not used to that. I'm not used to like hearing people walking in and out. I don't know. I'm used to very quiet thing, which I know people who've lived in apartments or yeah, apartments their whole life are kind of used to it, but luckily our neighbors aren't bad at all. Like, I don't really hear anyone next door. We don't have anyone to the to the right of us. So it's really nice, but it's still like, you still hear people and that gives me a little bit of anxiety, but I'm slowly getting over it, which is good. It's crazy. Also, I think the biggest weird thing that I 
have experienced this first week is being responsible for literally everything, anything you can think of, bills, whatever, everything. Like it's in my, it's in me and Joey's hands and it's crazy because it's like, I don't know, I'm not used to being that responsible. Something that I really, really like is the fact that this is our space. We can do whatever we want with it. That's something I'm not used to, but in a good way. I don't know. I really love the fact that I can see something cute, like furniture or whatever, and we can use it or have it. No, that's sweetheart. It's not even English. I can see something cute and be like, bitch, that's coming home with me and design like stuff around it. If that makes sense. No, I don't make any sense. I'm done. I'm out of here. Oh, I feel really, this is weird, but I feel really guilty about like walking around because we do live on the top floor. I feel so bad for the people below us because I know if I was like, if someone was above me and like I was in a bad mood or something or like wanted peace and quiet and I heard someone like walking around all day, I'd be like, oh my, I'd literally take a broom and fucking shove it through. Our floor creaks a little bit and so I'm like, I like cringe so hard every time it creaks. I'm like, I'm so I'm so sorry down there, like, I'm sorry. I hate me too. Grocery shopping is a little weird too because normally my mom was like really good at like what to get, what not to get, but now it's like all us and we have no idea what we're doing. But yeah, uh, so we've at least not died yet, which is the main point, I guess, right? Like we're doing something right if we're not dead. But yes, also I really, really, really want a cat and me and Joey made a promise that I am not gonna get a cat until we've been living here for nine months. So it's so hard not to use that clickbait title to like I'm pregnant because I just wanna be like, I'm pregnant with like the idea of a cat in nine months because it's gonna take nine months. But I probably won't do that unless I actually like get the cat then I'll be like I'm pregnant with like a cute thumbnail. But yeah, I'm really excited for that because this would be like the perfect space. It is too small for a dog because that's just like so cruel to do to a dog. Like not all dogs, but like a big dog because me and Joey want a Husky or like a German Shepherd. But it would be so mean to leave them or not leave them, but for them to be stuck in this like small apartment. So we're not doing that. But a cat is fine. Like cats are like so low maintenance like me. Just kidding, I'm high maintenance. Um, do you hear that saw? Listen. That's what I'm listening to all day. <laughs> like, they didn't tell us that there was going to be construction. Love you guys. Uh, if you want me to do, like, a one month or, like, a two week, whatever, let me know. Tweet me. Instagram at Raiden Quinn. Subscribe. I post daily. And I love you guys. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.